Hey everybody, David Corson, Saturday, June 22nd, oh, about 6.15. Uh, just out here doing my trek. Thought my whole day was going to be completely different. Anyway, I'm just going to keep walking. If I got some shade on me, that's okay. Feels good. It's about 90 degrees out here. Sweating my tail off and uh, trying to get home as quick as I can. I'm trying to... Uh, my kid was flying this afternoon with his new instructor down at PDK and... I thought we were going to go up on the lake and this and that and things changed so I was getting things around done around the house I was like oh I got to get out there I don't want to forget to do the video so oh that shade feels great anyway let me set my glasses off how rude of me in any event I'm out here sweating trying to prove myself uh, my time my cardio my lungs my legs and uh, all that stuff and uh, I'll tell you when I you know when I'm moving I don't get the uh, sweat in my eyes but when I stand here and do these videos man uh, it, uh, it just gets in there and it stings. I don't know what the deal is, but when I'm moving, it's not, it, you know, it doesn't go in there. So in any event, hope everybody's having a great Saturday. And uh, I'm just uh, walking, trying to catch my breath. But uh, hope you're going to Saturday night with a positive attitude and, ha and uh, getting ready for a long day on tomorrow and Sunday. And then uh, get ready to do it all again on Monday. You know, anyway, I was up late last night watching the Edmonton uh, Oilers play the uh, Florida Panthers game six up in Edmonton on home ice. Uh, if Edmonton won, they went back for game seven down in Fort Lauderdale on Monday. If they lose, Cats go home with the trophy. Anyway, Oilers won, 5-1. A couple empty in their goals, but they were definitely out playing the uh, Panthers. They deserve to win. Anyway, game seven is going to be on Monday night for all the marbles. And uh, it, uh, it's going to be exciting. And uh, you know what's crazy is, I heard a crazy stat by the announcers last night. They said that the Oilers, any time over the past 10 years that they've gone on a three-game losing streak, uh, they've gone on this winning streak. Actually, actually, last year, I think they went for 16 games before they lost again. So if I was going to Vegas and uh, making a bet, I'd place it on the Oilers because they have the stats, you know, uh, on the scoreboard that you can't change. That they're they're basically you know they're on a, they're on a three game winning streak, and they could keep going. And the Panthers are on a three game losing streak, and uh, they're, both, they're both excellent teams. Don't get me wrong. This is just the uh, uh, this is just a fan looking at it from a perspective. Heck, like I said, I'm from the USA. I want uh, the Florida Panthers, an American team. I want them to win the, the Stanley Cup, get their names on it, hoist it. But uh, I was like the Oilers, Wayne Gretzky, Mark Messier. You know, I mean, there's, there were so many Hall of Famers that were on that team. They won four, uh, I think it was four Stanley Cups. But uh, the great one, Wayne Gretzky, was on there. That guy was just tremendous, and I always liked him. So I'm pulling for the Oilers. Uh, but, I, you know, like I said, I wanted to see Game 7, so I'm psyched they got it done on home ice. And now it's uh, Monday night. You go out there for 60 minutes, give it your all. Hopefully you don't go into overtime. And you got more goals than the other guy does. And you get to go home, fly home with the trophy, and have fun with it all summer. So, anyway, if you want to see uh, Game 7 and some really cool hockey, I'm sure Florida fans are going to go, are going, going to go ballistic and berserk uh, and just ecstatic that they have a Game 7 to watch. So, uh, it'll be great on Monday night. Uh, but tonight, I'm going to finish up my run, take a shower, hydrate real quick, and uh, we're going to get something to eat. And then uh, we got some more stuff to do tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll go up on the lake, and I'll get my video done there. we got to run the boat. we got to keep the batteries charged. And uh, so, and it's beautiful out. Not cloud, well, some little clouds in the sky, but just hot. Not a breath, not no breeze whatsoever. It's just hot, not humid, but it's hot. Humid, it'd be really, really brutal. And it's coming because that's what July is and August are all about—the dog days of summer. So, talking about Edmonton, here's my positive thought of the day: as you go into your Saturday night and finish your weekend off tomorrow on Sunday, and it goes like this. And once again, you can do this for business, personal, athletics, life in general, anything you do. You can, you will, end of story. Let me repeat that. You can, you will, end of story. All right? That's exactly what that coach, you know, probably told those guys after they lost three games up in Edmonton. And, had him, and uh, I saw a video of them after practice. The offensive coordinator was talking to the offensive, well, just the assistant coach. He was out there on the ice talking to these guys going, hey, you know, you guys are really good. You got an excellent team here. You got, you know, you're down 3-0, one game at a time. Let's get it together and uh, 
you're as good as this team or better. And, uh, you know, we figured it out. Let's, uh, let's uh, s- switch some things up and let's go for it. What's the worst that could happen? Our, game, our backs are against the wall anyway. But they've got it done. And they've handily beaten this team three games in a row. And uh, so, and if I'm a Panther, oh my God, the announcers once again, they were like, hey, they got to fly home. They got to think, oh, we were up three up. Now we lost three in a straight. They have our number. And uh, it, as an athlete, it gets in your mind. And let me tell you, I talk about positive mindset and all that stuff to beg out all the negativity. Man, when you're in the, you're in the Stanley Cup playoff, or I don't care what championship you're in, and uh, you lose three games in a row in a seven-game series, man, it can eat you, especially when you're up 3-0. You just that needed to win one more game, and it was over. So, uh, once again, you can, you will end a story, all right? And I do that every day. It's not, I'm not, I don't say I won't, I, you know, I can't, I will, you will, I will, you can, I can, end the story. You just got to go for it. And guess what? If you don't make it, that's okay. At least you learn from it. So the next time this happens, something in front of you, like I said, obstacles, you got to conquer them yesterday. Same thing here. You can, you will, end a story. Put your blinders on, move forward. Get her done. Just like I'm at here, man. I mean, I, listen, I was looking forward to it. My body it tells me. It's like, a, it's like an alarm clock. Hey, time to go. We got to go sweat. And then my kid called. Told me about his uh, flight experience downtown in the, uh, in the, at the airport where he works. He's taking his lessons down there. And uh, anyway, he goes, oh, man, it's so much different flying up there than out in the burbs. You know, the skyline's busy, traffic on the tarmac. I mean, you got to have your act together. So just like anything like him, I told him the same thing. Hey, man, I'm sure you did great. You know, you had a new, new instructor, you're a little, you know, probably a little nervous in front of him. But other than that, you can't complain. You just got to do it. So he did. End of story. He made it home and now he'll uh, continue on there. He'll get used to flying in a, you know, a busy airspace. And just like the Oilers, you know, look, they have, they have all the momentum. They, you know, they have, they, you know, but either team can win. So once again, if you're watching an NHL game, you got to watch Monday night. It's going to be great. Game seven, all the marbles on the, you know, are up for grabs, and uh, all, all the all the fans in there, and you know, it's just going to be great. So uh, with that said, I'm gonna I'm yakking enough. I'm gonna go uh, finish up and go spend some time with my kid. Like I said, my wife's uh, been in a, a visitor mom. Stepdad uh, passed earlier in the week, and uh, she spent some time down in Hilton Head. Coming back early next week. So uh, we're uh, just bacheloring and doing our thing. So anyway, I appreciate y'all. I'm going to put my shades back on. As always, I appreciate you. You're the best. And uh, um, have a great uh, rest of your Saturday night. Get some REM sleep. Wake up tomorrow. Have fun. Get the most out of your day. And then uh, get ready for an awesome week next week. Last week of Q2. Uh, Monday's my wedding anniversary. 29th's my birthday. And I got 4th of July weekend. And then uh, my wife and my son were born on the 16th. So it's a nice little run of just some nice little uh, things to celebrate. You know, like, kind of like small wins during the week. And they all build up. And, uh, you know, anyway, my nose is running. When I'm running, I'm sweating. Man, my nose runs. I'm sorry. Nothing I can do. It's just, it's just natural. So sorry about that. I'm in the shade. So once again, one more time. You can, you will, end of story. All right? Just do it. Do it every day, every week, every month, for the remainder of the year, and you will see a change in yourself, whatever you're doing, business, personal life, athletics, whatever might be in front of you, you will see a change. And uh, you can apply it to anything. So with that said, I will see you tomorrow, hopefully out on the boat. Cheers, ciao, and I will see you later.